Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you on this May 18th, uh, which also happens to be uh, my wife Sharon and my uh, 55th wedding anniversary. So uh, happy anniversary, Sharon, as you watch this. Today, I want to uh, deal with a topic that I've come across many times with parishioners over the years, and it has to do with loneliness. Loneliness is one of the most debilitating uh, experiences of our lives. Uh, you don't have to go any further than into an assisted living place, a retirement center, to find people who are uh, suffering greatly from lack of human exposure. Today I want to read to you from Ephesians in the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 6. And this is uh, the Apostle Paul, obviously, writing to the people of Ephesus. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism one God and Father of all who is above all and through all and in all. Well, God created us to be in community with one another. Remember the, the text in Genesis, the creation text, Adam was created and God saw that he needed a helper. So he created woman, he created Eve. When we are alone, we suffer greatly. We are our own worst enemies. And so how is it that we overcome the uh, scourge of, of loneliness? Well, we need to be intentional in seeking out community, in being in relationship with other people. And uh, it takes some uh, effort on our part. Uh, we can't just expect people to come to us we need to reach out. We need to extend ourselves. We need to make ourselves available. And one of the uh, greatest places to be able to do that, in my estimation, obviously, is the church. You know, the church is made up of people, all of whom uh, have one thing in common, and that is their love of Jesus Christ. And what I've experienced over the years is that church people like being around church people. That's why we have fellowship times and um, after church you see uh, people gathering and talking and uh, it's just a healthy and, and wonderful thing. And so we're reminded that to be spiritually and emotionally healthy, uh, we all need to support one another. Um, in his letter to the people of Ephesus, Paul emphasized having a Christ-like character that um, makes us humble in, in our, our, our uh, personal interface with people. It, it calls upon us to be gentle and patient and tolerant uh, and also to uh, express love for one another in a variety of ways. And he admonishes us to accept one another. Now, that may be a, a tall order for a lot of people, but accepting people um, is, is where it all starts. And so the um, antidote to loneliness is to engage with other people, to reach out, to be intentional, and like I said, um, the church is such a wonderful place to do just that. So I, I hope that you have plenty of interfaces in your life and that loneliness is uh, not a, an issue for you. Let's spend a moment in prayer. Gracious God, we thank you that you have created us to be in community, that you have given us personal relationships so that we don't have to experience loneliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you, Almighty God, that you remind us that we need to deal with one another in a patient and kind and loving and accepting and tolerant way. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, today, give us the opportunity to interface with people, maybe new people, maybe people that uh, are also looking for an interaction, people that might be lonely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you that you have given us the uh, opportunity to seek community in our churches, and we're grateful that our churches are beginning to open up as the pandemic uh, starts to recede. So Father, help us to uh, view one another as um, brothers and sisters in Christ and to, to deal with one another in tolerance, love, acceptance, and non-judgmentalism. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for this due day. We thank you for the, the opportunities that are going to present themselves. Help us to be agents of your love in all that we think, say, and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for spending a minute with me. And again, I hope that uh, your day is a blessed one, that you're feeling well. And we'll see you again tomorrow on Wednesday. Until then, God bless.